after this. Um, again, I'm Catherine Rains. I'm a mixed media collage artist. And I wanted to talk about two things because I'm starting all over again. <laughs> I want to talk about my morning routine and also give you an art demo on how to do a alcohol relief collage paper, which is what I'm doing for day three of my uh, 100 day project. So let me start by saying I've always been fascinated by other people's morning routines. I read this book called, I think it was called uh, Daily Rituals. And it was all these descriptions of artists throughout the millennia of how they spent their day. And it just fascinated me. So I started thinking about how I spent my day and particularly the morning. And I realized that I have done the same morning routine with variations, you know, things have come and gone, but I've basically spent an hour every day in self care, kind of getting myself together and grounded. And it really is something that is essential. If I don't do it, I mean, I, I'm not a grounded person. I mean, people know <laughs> I haven't taken care of myself first before I've done anything else. So my day starts between 6 and 7 a.m. And some, usually between 6.30 and 7, I will go for a walk. That's four or five days a week. Um, I consider exercise an essential part of my life, although it's not my favorite part at all. So I have to do it first just to get out of the way or it will not happen. And, but no matter whether I do exercise or not, then I do the most important part of my morning routine, which is writing in my five-year journal first. And this is my five-year journal. Um, so I write about a paragraph. So if you just look at this color right here, this is one day. I write in a different color ink for every day. And all I'm doing is writing what happened yesterday. So I always do a day behind. What were the highlights of a day, the day yesterday that I would like to remember next year? And then after I write about the highlights, then I read what happened this day, as in today, for the last eight years. Because I've actually turned my five-year journal into an actually a 10-year journal. So what has happened on this day over the years? And it's just fascinating to me. I t ended up being like kind of the family historian without meaning to because I also record important events in my sister's life, in my niece's life, my husband. So that's kind of the superficial thing I do, but then it gets much deeper. So the next thing um, in my routine is I do breathing exercises. Now this is this particular thing I'm doing right now. I've probably been doing this routine for probably a couple months. Before this, it was meditation. I had different variations of this, but the purpose is just to get me grounded and in my body. So I do about five minutes of breathing exercises and I use something called the Breathe app. And it just takes you through rounds of breathing and actually times it for you. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love this thing. And after I do that, then I do affirmations. And I have 13 affirmations that I do every single day. And every one of them get me excited. And when they don't get me excited, they move on. I just get rid of them because I only want an affirmation that kind of makes me go, yeah, oh, cool. I'm so excited. <laughs> So when that's over, then I read from usually one of two books. It's either Eckhart Tolle's The New Earth, this is going to be backwards, or The Untethered Soul. I've read both of these books. I can't tell you how many times, probably a dozen each. I'll read a chapter and then I will journal. At the current day, I'm actually reading this book though. It's called, you can't read this because it's backwards. It's called The Architecture of All Abundance, which is an amazing book. But the point is I want to read something spiritual that just gets me grounded and in my body. And then I usually journal. And now this morning I only journaled a paragraph, wrote a paragraph. Other times I'll, I'll write four or five pages. I have done morning pages for years at a time. So I change out what I do so that the routine itself really fits who I am right now. Because things change over time. You know, I don't, not everything, it resonates. Like I love to meditate, but... For some reason, at this moment in my life, it doesn't fit. So the sacred part of my morning routine lasts about an hour, sometimes more, sometimes less. Now, I just added something really cool yesterday. So a friend of mine um, has started this thing called Illum. And what it is, is a one hour of creating on Zoom around the world. So her name is Daphne Cohen, and she comes on and she actually gives a prayer, an artist prayer. And we all pray together and then we go off 
we, we put ourselves on mute and then we go create for an hour. Then we come back and she gives a closing prayer and it is so magical. But what I'm using this for is to give structure around the, hun- the 100 day project. So I know every day at nine o'clock, I do this beautiful ritual with my friend Daphne and people all over the world. Um, so if you're interested in doing that, just leave me a comment and I'm, I'm happy to give you the link to it. It's free. It's a free community around the world. So we'll see if that sticks. But right now, it's really helping me to kind of really give me structure around the 100 day project, make sure I do it. So my day, my art day really is starting at nine o'clock, but without that, more than likely it would start at 9.30 or 10 with a cup of tea. I may, I brew handmade tea, never tea bags. I measure the tea and it's just a beautiful thing. Um, And then I use the task tower to decide how my day is going to unfold. Now, I'm actually going to talk about that next week, but the task tower is basically a way to keep my mind out of deciding what comes next. I actually let God, the universe, whatever, decide for me by putting all the tasks in a basket and pulling them. So I'll give you more details about that later. Mar- Marguerite, I will put the, I, when you go, so I will put the link to a loom in, when you see my face, when it's actually posted, I'll put the link to it. Yes, I will. It's, it's an incredible thing. I'm, uh, Daphne would love to have you because it's open to everyone. It's actually twice a day, by the way. It's 9 a.m. Eastern and 4 p.m. Eastern. So you can catch it either time because she's trying to hit all time zones. And it's for um, writers, painters, any kind of creativity whatsoever. It just gives structure and community around creating. Okay, so there's the routine. Now, the second thing I want to do is do a demo of my, so I'm doing a different kind of collage paper every day. This is day three of the 100 day project. And this is the one I did today. This is an alcohol resist paper. And so I actually did it during the nine o'clock hour. I thought, oh, that'd be fun to actually demo for you. So I'm going to turn my camera around and I've already set some up. So I will definitely share the link, Leah, to Illum. So come, so I'm going to turn this around. So this is my little setup. I actually am standing right uh, behind here. So I am going to just set myself up here so that I can share with you my papers. Let's see if I can just get this lined up. So just so you know, I have a piece of glass here just so that I don't completely mess my table up, which um, is easy for me to do as I'm painting. So what the, the first part of doing an alcohol resist um, paper is you just take any kind of paper, and this is actually a piece of dictionary, and you put acrylic paint on it. So I just put a coat, and I've done this to a whole bunch of the same kind of values. You know, basically it's blue and yellows. And what I thought it would be fun is I'm going to show you how to do one, and then I'm going to ask you in the comments to tell me what color to use next. So I'm going to do this one without your help, and then you are going to decide what color to do next. So let me get a paintbrush. The way you start this, so this is a blue color. So I'm thinking a cool color to put on top of that might be red. So I take a fluid red, by the way, I'm still here. I'm just uh, mixing a tiny bit of paint. So you take a fluid paint and you just quickly put it on here. You don't want to, um, you gotta go fairly quickly and it's gotta be pretty wet. So I added quite a bit of water to it. I probably could have added more water to this. Okay. Now, without delay, I've got little (laughs) fingerprints, which is kind of interesting. Now, without delay, I am going to take some alcohol, which I have in my hand here, and I'm just going to drop it in different places. On, Do you see what's happening? I've got little interesting things happening. And it's showing the blue. Okay, so that's, that's if I just did it with a dropper, which I think is incredibly cool. But I also can take the spray bottle and just add a little more. So I can show you this. So it just makes an amazing textured piece here. I'm kind of like 
totally in love with this. So I'm going to put this one down. Sorry for the glare of the lamp here. Now, here's the next one. Here's a yellow one. So in the comments, what color? It has to be a darker color. So I, I purposely did light. By the way, this is a, I think, I think it's a page from an antique Bible. Oh, yeah, antique Bible. So what color do you want me to paint on top of this? And I will paint the color. So we have like an aqua, which it might be pretty. Um, I could do an orange. I could do a red. I could do a green. Any suggestions on what you, purple, oh, purple. Okay, luckily I've got some purple. So let me, uh, gotta open it up. And I gotta add some water to it. So give me two seconds to add water. Because again, it's gotta be pretty runny or it's not gonna, the resist isn't gonna work right. Okay, so I'm adding water. Just so you know, I'm off to the side here. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if you can see me, I'm adding water right here, right here, water. So I'm going to quickly add, actually purple would be pretty. Good suggestion. I got to do it really fast so that I don't, it only, I did this like, I don't know, 15 times this morning. And the ones that, oh, I don't have enough paint. The ones that I didn't have, um, that I let dry, you can't let this dry almost at all. Okay. Okay. So here we go. We got purple, and now I'm going to add some drops to it and see the magic. I don't know. For some reason, this just like is like the coolest thing ever to, to me. Now, I, I let this sit a ton. In fact, I'm just going to go like, shoop, and see what happens. Pretty cool. Now, I'm going to actually do a little spritz in on it as well. Be nice if I had two spray bottles with alcohol. So that yellow comes through. I probably let it wait a tiny bit longer than I wanted to, but I still love that. Isn't that cool? Okay, so the next paper is going to be blue. So what color would you like me to put on top of the blue to get a resist? What color? Give me a color here. What color would you like to see on top of the blue? Green. Margaret, that's exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking, this is the green I was thinking. Green oxide. So this is already a fluid paint, so it's going to be easier for me to um, mix. Just add some water to it. Get a new paintbrush. Okay, here we go. Fast. I don't have enough water already. Okay, now for the magic part. <laughs> I realized I need two water bottles or two alcohol bottles. I actually squirted the alcohol on myself today instead of squirting it on here. Don't ask me how I did that. Now, this one's not working as well. Interesting. Let me see. Maybe I can just like draw on it. <laughs> this is a very prosticomy thing. It could be that the. Um, Okay, it could be that the um, I let it dry too much, or maybe it was too thick is the other option. Let me see if I just spray it, if that will work. Yeah, that worked some. You know, it's a hit or miss thing. Okay, that was not, that was a dud. <laughs> so, <laughs> and you want red. Okay, red it is. I like red. In fact, I already have red on my palette, too. Let me just make sure it's really runny this time. You know what? I'm going to get a bigger brush. There you go. This will make it work better. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you can tell that I'm actually learning as we go here. Okay. Now, I'm just going to try squirting the brush. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm just, like, totally enamored. Is that cool? Or what? Oh, my God. I'm actually going to put a little... I'm going to do the dropper thing also. Let me see if the dropper does anything on top of this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the red was a good suggestion. But a lot of it has to do with how, um, how, how thin I put the paint on, which it needs to be pretty thin, I've discovered. 
Yeah, pretty cool, isn't it? Like that is like, it's the simplest thing in the world to do. Okay, we're gonna do blue. So give me a color suggestion for blue. I'm putting my uh, paint down. What would you like to see on top of this patina look? Yes, it looks definitely patina. What color would you like to see on top of this? Give me a suggestion. I'm waiting. What do you think? Green again. Okay, let me see if I can make green work this time. I gotta put a lot of water this time. Okay, I'm gonna make green work. And I think if I use a bigger paintbrush, like I did last time, maybe this will work better. Oops. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. There we, oh my God. Okay. That is just the bomb. I'm gonna put a little drop inside of it. Let's see if that does anything. Nope, doesn't do anything. Big God, okay, I'm totally in love with this. This is actually a, a page from a dictionary, so you can kind of, oh my Lord. Yeah, let me do some overlapping things. Hmm. By the way, I'm smelling alcohol right now, so if I happen to pass out, <clears throat> You know what happened? Okay, that was the best yet. That. You want black. Ooh, okay. Okay, we're putting them down. Putting this one down. Okay, I'm completely in love with that green. I may have to make like 10 more of them. Um, so I got yellow. Um, I'm going for orange. I know someone just suggested black. I will try black next. But I'm kind of enamored. I've been wanting to try the orange. So I gotta dip some of this orange out of my palette. Now this is like a really, really, really bright orange. This is like bright, um, but it's pretty thick. It's a Nova paint. It wasn't meant to do um, what I'm about to do with it. Um, it's a thicker acrylic. So I really gotta water this down to make it work. But I'm using a big brush. So hopefully this will aid this. And it may be, this could be too thick, we'll see. I mean, this is a real, um, this is a real experiment. Live. All right, here comes the alcohol. Yeah, that works. Oh my gosh, that is just, the blue would look cool with a rust. You know what, I have that color. I've actually got a quinac, quinac what do you call that? Quin I can't say that word, quinacridome something. I want something to happen right there, yeah. I'm thinking maybe if I put a hair dryer on this, I'm not gonna do that, because I don't wanna um, actually blow my, um, I don't know what I, heat would do to alcohol. Let me see if I put a little of that, this on it too. Okay, this is, this is gonna be the coolest collage paper. I love that. Um, I wanna try, oh, yuck. Okay. The next one we've got, I'm just doing them randomly. So now we've got a blue. And what did someone suggest? Alcohol is the liquid. So what was that was the color that someone just suggested? Oh yeah. In fact, I'm gonna change out. I'm gonna do the yellow with this uh I can't say the word. Quinoc <laughs> what is it? Quinacridone nickel azo gold, which I absolutely love. So let me see. I'm gonna put this, okay. Of course, now it's not going to pour out because it looks like it might be, no, it's not old though. Hold on, we're coming. Oh, I had never opened this up. So here's a little tip. You have to actually take the seal off in order for it to work. Who knew? Okay, so now <laughs> it's gonna work. I got canocodome, however you say that amazing word. And actually, I'm gonna use my previous uh, orange paintbrush. So it's kind of like a mixture of the quinacridone. Okay, I'm really terribly saying that word. Okay, here we go. And take the alcohol. Oh yeah, that is just, and I wanna like overlap it.
Okay, the next person who gives me a color suggestion gets it, along with what color you would like it on. Would you like it on blue or would you like it on yellow? Okay, this is so gorgeous. Okay. Any, any, you could also buy some, blot some, that's true, I could blot some of the alcohol. Let's try that. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yes. In fact, where it didn't work, the blotting looks really neat. In fact, I could even like scribble on it. Yes, looks really cool. Okay, we're, I see yellow and black. Okay, someone already asked for black, so I'm going to try the black. Uh, because you asked. So give me a sec. I've got I to pull out my high flow black. Um, if I have high flow black. I don't have high flow black, but I got high flow uh, gray. So I'm trying to get stuff that I have easily around. So here's yellow. And I've got high flow gray. So let's see what this does. Okay. Oops, oops. Just so you know, I just poured off, you know, a year's supply on the table. Okay. Hopefully this won't be too weird. I don't know if this, what this is going to do. But I'm willing to try anything. I think it needs more, though. Let's see. In fact, I'm going to pour it right on there, because it won't pour on there. Watch this. Okay. There you go. And we'll see what happens. This could be the most interesting one yet. It's not bad. In fact, I'm kind of in love. So I imagine what would happen with black. I just don't have someone like it's right at my fingertips. But that is super cool. And while we're here, why don't we go ahead and add... How, how do you dry? No, I'm putting them. F there you go. That's cool. I am putting them right on the ground. I have a, a shower curtain. I love that. This is going in a collage. I can just tell you. Um, I'm going to do one more before I close up. Um, so give me a color combo that you would like. Raw umber. Hmm. Raw umber is so close. Let me see what I got. Raw umber. Raw umber. Oh, raw umber. You know what? I actually have that. Raw umber. Okay, I have raw umber. And I'm, do you want it on blue or do you want it on yellow? Blue or yellow? Yeah, it would be cool to let them run. You're right. Blue or yellow? So we're doing raw umber on blue or yellow? <laughs> Not pink. <laughs> I can do pink. But how about, um, should I do the raw umber on blue or yellow? What's your choice? On the blue. Okay. There it goes. Pour some raw umber out, and I'm going to water it down a little bit. Okay, here we go. Okay, I think this is going to be... Of course, I think they're all cool. I think this is like magic. Now the question is, where am I going to store all these? Because i got a million papers now. Okay. i got to work really fast. Okay. Yep. It's interesting. It's not showing the blue that much. In fact, I think I'm going to um, do some spraying on it just to make sure that more of that blue shows up. And I'm going to do, I think Margaret suggested this. I'm going to let it run. Let's see if the running does anything. Yep, it does. It's hard. For, I don't know if you can tell it, but it is running. And I think it's course that there's a big shine on it because the lights hard to see yep someone suggested pink Whew. it's interesting I don't know if you can see this but it's like a weird color can you see that it's kind of like this I think it's the blue coming through it's really kind of fascinating it's like a science experiment I'm gonna do one more just because I can't help myself this is so much freaking fun let me see if I get a pink um, <clears throat> you know what I'm going to do instead? Instead of pink, let me get um, this. Um, 
Kanakonome uh, magenta. Because I think this might look really cool on the uh, yellow. So this is my last one. Okay, here we go. I think this is going to be the best one yet. So whoever suggested pink, this is for you. Ooh. Okay, here we go. I really need two different things here, two different alcohol things. So I keep taking the lid off. Oh, it looks like I waited too long. Well, and, and can you see this? It's actually, there's a purple ring around it. Huh. I almost want to like do something, you know? Because this is actually going to be torn up and put into collages. It's not like exactly the way it is right now. But I don't know if you can see this in the light, but the uh, magenta, the uh, whatever that color, it's magenta, is actually getting some purple in there, which is quite beautiful. And why not add more? You know, more is always better, right? For some reason, it was either too heavy. It didn't have the same, but I still love it. Anyways, mint, quinacridone, let me turn this around. Okay. That's the art demo for today. Um, I will put the link to the, 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 I can't say it. It's a lumen, I think it's called. And if you have any suggestions of what you would like to see in terms of a demo or just what I, you'd like me to talk about, I'm happy to do that. So thank you for all of you for showing up and sticking with me. Bye, Leah. <laughs> I will see you next week, Tuesday at 2. Good idea. I'll try it with a plain piece of paper. Anyways, bye everyone. Thanks for coming. Mm -hmm.